Hello designers and creators, today we are diving into the world of advanced prototypes and exploring two fantastic tools, Protopy and Figma. Choosing the right tool can make all the difference in bringing your interactive design concepts to life. Let's compare Protopy and Figma to help you make an informed decision. But first, subscribe to my channel, I have a lot of useful videos. Let's begin. First, let's talk about Protopy. Protopy is a dedicated prototyping tool that is known for its powerful interaction design capabilities. It allows you to create highly realistic and interactive prototypes, including complex animations, conditional interactions, and data integration. Protopy is also well suited for creating prototypes of complex devices and variables. Protopy is used by a wide range of companies, including Google, Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft. It's a specialized tool for interaction and animation design, making it ideal for crafting high-fidelity interactive prototypes. While Figma isn't exclusively a prototyping tool, it offers robust prototypes features. It's a versatile design platform with a strong focus on collaboration and web-based design. Figma has become more popular in recent years and is already a versatile prototyping tool. Figma's prototyping features allow you to create click for prototypes as well as more complex prototypes with animations and conditional interactions. However, Figma's prototyping capabilities are not as powerful as protopies and uh, it can be more difficult to create complex interactions and prototype complex devices and wearables in Figma. There are a few reasons why you might choose Figma rather than Protopy for advanced prototypes. The first reason is Figma is easier to learn. Protopy is a dedicated tool with a steep learning curve. Figma is a more general purpose design tool that is also easier to learn for prototyping. Reason number two, Figma has a wider range of features. In addition to prototyping, Figma also includes features for design, UX research, and handoff. Protopy is focused solely on prototyping. There is a number three, Figma is more affordable. Protopy has a high subscription fee rather than Figma. Let me give you some examples of advanced prototypes that can be created in Figma. For example, prototypes with complex animations. Animations. Figma allows you to create complex animations using its animation editor. This can be helpful for creating prototypes of user interface with complex interactions. Prototypes with conditional interactions. This can be helpful for creating prototypes of user interface that respond to user input and other factors. And prototypes with data integration. This can be helpful for creating prototypes of user interfaces that display dynamic data. And here we come to the second prototyping tool. How is Protopy better than Figma? Let's find out together. Protopy allows you to prototype a wide range of devices, including mobile phones, tablets, desktops, and wearables. You can also prototype connected experiences by connecting your prototypes to physical devices. Figma is not well suited for prototyping complex devices and wearables. Protopy prototypes are more realistic and interactive. Protopy prototypes feel and look like real products. You can input your design assets from Sketch, Figma, Photoshop, or other design tools, and Protopy will automatically generate high fidelity prototypes. What about interface and feasibility? Figma offers a streamlined user interface and user experience design process with real-time collaboration. Its various features and functions make it an ideal tool for UX designers, developers, and team collaboration. Protopy prioritizes interactive design in your workflow. It provides an interface to view all messages exchanged by prototypes, custom plugins, and hardware devices. Additionally, this tool is known for its minimal learning curve and user-friendly interface. What about price? Overall, Figma offers a more affordable pricing structure compared to Protopy, particularly for teams. Figma offers plans starting at $12 per month, while Protopy starts at $29 
dollars. If you are a solo designer or a small team with budget constraints, Figma is an excellent option. However, if you require more advanced prototyping and animation features, Protopy may be a better fit. So which tool should you use for advanced prototypes? It depends on your project scope and your needs. If you need to create highly realistic and interactive prototypes, or if you need to prototype complex devices and wearables, then Protopy is a better the choice. However, Protopy has a steep learning curve, so it might not be a better choice for beginners. If you're looking for a more general proposed design tool with good prototyping capabilities, then Figma is a good option for you. Ultimately, the best tool for you will depend on your specific needs and preferences. If you're unsure which tool to choose, I recommend to try both Protopy and Figma to see which one you prefer. Speaking of comparison, I created a simple spreadsheet comparing the two tools. You can pause the video and read it in full. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful for you, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with other designers. See you in the next video.